Hi everyone and good evening. My name is Lukman Khanzada. I am a junior developer in Royal Cyber and I have been working in the Sterling OMS team for the last eight months. Today I'm accompanied by Satish, Tejas and Shrutika who are my colleagues in Sterling OMS team. So in today's session, we will give you a brief introduction to IBM Sterling OMS and the application manager and how we can boot up the application manager to manage the Sterling OMS. So first of all, let me give you a quick overview of IBM Sterling order management. IBM Sterling order management is a software as a service offering designed for organizations seeking foundational order management capabilities for their e-commerce initiatives. It can be used to manage complexities regarding supply chain initiatives and order management by cost effectively managing global product and service fulfillment across the extended enterprises. Sterling order management is offering to, de offering to deliver a seamless order management experience across all channels, which creates a complete shopping experience. Moving on, let me give you a brief introduction to the application manager. The application manager is a graphical user interface that can be used to configure different aspects of the Sterling order management software. It is a collection of all the rules and setup configurations necessary to implement IBM Sterling selling and fulfillment organized in such a way that configuration can be done for each business application separately. The application manager can be used to configure different business applications such as IBM Sterling distributed order management, global visibility, catalog and logistics management, etc. Now to demonstrate how we can boot up the application manager, I'm going to invite Satish Kumar. Yeah, thank you, Lukman. Hi everyone, my name is Satish Kumar and I'm a trainee software engineer in the IBM Sterling OMS team. Today I will demonstrate how we can boot up the application manager. Let me share my screen for demonstrate. Before starting uh, application manager, first we have to boot up the JBoss server, which is an open source cross-platform Java application server developed by JBoss, a division of Red Hat Inc. To do that, first we have to navigate to the directory where we have installed the server on the machine. It's located in my machine. It's located in my T drive. And within that, JBoss BNet and inside bin folder. Here we have to open CMD and run the script standalone. dot bat space iphone c space standalone iphone full dot xml yeah our jboss server started it takes some time we can wait yeah now our JBoss server is started and running up successfully. Let's see how to launch the application manager for that. Let's navigate to the folder where we have installed the application manager. Then open the command prompt from the folder. Yeah, first I go to app manager folder and launch CMD from here and run the script client iphone 9.5 dot jar space more jar center here we can give login id as admin and password as password and change the port to 8078 Click OK. The configurator is loading. Yeah, from here we can access the distributed order management, global inventory visibility, application platform, catalog management, and all. Yeah, it's done. Now let's see what is system management and how to open it. We also have a system management console mode for the application manager. The system management console mode provides tools and techniques for managing the performance of the application platform. 
and monitoring the application in real time. So that problem can be acted upon immediately. It can be used to monitor response time. The amount of pending work and the number of errors generated at the API and the agent level, as well as the status of the application server and the JMSQ. To open the system management console, let's navigate to the app management folder. From here, launch CMD again and run the script client iPhone 9.5 dot jar space iPhone mode space SMC. Here I give you login ID as admin and password as password and change the port to 8078. Yeah, now our system management console is opening. Here we can able to access the create monitor group, trace components, wave live agent, and integration servers. That's it for today. Thank you for everyone for your time and see you soon. Take care. Bye.